My name is Dante and do gaming. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the best badges in NBA 2K21. If y'all enjoy the video, be sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload, and so you don't miss a giveaway because I will be doing a giveaway in the next month or so here on the channel. And also consider subscribing to the channel if you're new. But I'm going to be doing a giveaway extremely soon extremely soon it could be right after this video you never know on the main channel I got a main channel it's my gamer tag it's my username I meant. it's my username Dante got the sauce it's just like my username except with spaces so yeah make sure to turn on the post notifications on my main channel too because you don't want to miss that so I'm gonna be showing you all the badges that's my gamer tag right there my main channel if you're trying to add me play some 2k here on the game or if you're just trying to check out my main channel I'm funny as shit on the main channel I'm really funny I've done some funny videos on here too but go check out main channel I'll put a link to it in the description alright so badges alright finishing the best finishing badges since the last update I'd go with contact finisher hall of fame Giant Slayer Hall of Fame, Relentless Finisher, Showtime, and well, if you can get up to, I guess if you can get up to, what is it, for 30, 30 badges of finishing, I'd go with Contact Finisher, let's see, Giant Slayer, Relentless Finisher, Slithery Finisher, and Showtime on Hall of Fame. So that's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 24. So that's 24 right there. And then you can do... Fancy footwork. Maybe, I guess. Yeah. Well, that would be... If you do fancy footwork, contact finisher, giant slayer... Relentless finisher, slithery finisher, and showtime. That'd be 24 right there. And if you get 30, I'd go with. Uh, you could do. I guess you could do Lob City finisher on silver. And then I guess you could do silver. I guess if you wanted to. And then put consistent finisher on Hall of Fame. I guess if that, I think that's 30. Yeah. So yeah, I do that. If you have, if you could have 30. Uh, finishing badges and then shooting well this is what I have for shooting but you could put catch and shoot on Hall of Fame you could even put clutch shooter on if you play threes a lot or pro-am wreck my career if you play a lot of either of those if you don't basically if you don't play twos then don't put clutch shooter on I guess you could but you could put clutch shooter on it's a good badge corner specialist that's my hot hot zone but the first two badges I'd definitely put on hot zone hunter and range range I can't speak range extender it's not that hard to say I don't know why it took that long for me to say range extender <clears throat> those are the definitely definitely the two first badges you should put on hot zone hunter and range extender if you don't know how to time your jump shot like I don't really know how to that well I guess I could take it off now because I've gotten used to my jump shot Put flexible release on. You could even do difficult shots. Green Machine is a great badge. I don't know why I don't have that on. Um, also, Hot Zone Hunter. Or I said Hot Zone Hunter already. I meant Hot Start. And then if you're a point guard, you could do Tireless Shooter. So you don't get tired. If you dribble the ball a lot and uh, you ISO, then put Tireless Shooter on for sure. So I think I know how to time my jump shot pretty well now. I'm just going to put Green Machine on. And dead eye is on gold is just fine. <clears throat> um, so yeah, those are mine. Playmaking. This is what I got. Wait. All right. And then playmaking, you do so you can dribble better. I have tire, um, tight handles on ankle breaker on Huff. Same with dimer floor general handles for days, and definitely quick first step. Another good badge is needle threader, but I think I think you should just put these badges on for real. 
Um, you could even do, let's see, dimer, handles for days. All right. But these are the badges I'd put on. Or you could do. Ankle breaker, dimer, hands for days, floor general, quick first step. And an ankle breaker really is not a must have, so if you wanted to, you could take that off. As long as you got handles for days on. <clears throat> and of course, quick first step, but they're not for dribbling. And then you could you could do needle threader. You could do it like that if you wanted to. Mm, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then defense. This is what I got for defense. Box is a good badge. Um, interceptor. Chase down artist. Rebound chaser. So yeah, if y'all enjoyed the video, be sure to smash the like button. Those are my badges. Uh, the best badges after the uh, last patch. So yeah, that's the video. If y'all enjoyed the video, like I said, please smash the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're new. And turn on the post notifications if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.